one of my absolute favorite things about living out here in the middle of nowhere is all the wild animals. They don't always show themselves, but once in a while they just pop out of the forest and I never get tired of standing face to face with one of them. But now, one of them have become a bit too friendly and have actually moved in. A lot of new faces have showed up here on the channel lately thanks to a video I posted about two weeks ago where I talk about how I actually bought this cabin. So if you're one of those new guys I just want to say hi and welcome. My name is Kalle and I live in this cabin uh, with my girlfriend Christina and our two huskies Tuss and Nala. It's a very simple log cabin with no running water, no bathroom, uh, no luxuries but we truly love it. It all started when I was sitting and editing one of my videos and Christina was out with the dog so I was completely alone in the cabin. So I was sitting and working and then all of a sudden I heard this like noise in the cabin like doom. Like someone was hitting the wall or walking on the floor or upstairs and I like what's that noise? And okay we have mouses but <laughs> we're not that big. They can't make noises that loud. Uh, so I kept listening and like I say, it, it didn't come back, so I went back to working and then doom, again. So I was like, where is, where is it coming from and who is it? So then I actually started walking around the cabin thinking like, maybe I'm not alone. Is it, is it actually someone here? I know Christine is not here, so maybe someone else. So I started walking around, stopping for a while and then doom, heard the same noise again. But I had no idea. And then I started thinking like, okay, it's probably just a, a woodpecker on the, on the outside of the wall. Um, that happens sometimes. But it didn't make sense that it was so loud and so powerful, if that makes sense. But it stopped for a while. I went back to editing again. Um, but it was still a bit distracting because I hate not figuring st like stuff like this out. And then the third time I heard it, doom. I thought, okay, it has to come from the outside because no one besides me is inside of the cabin. So I looked outside the window and saw this little, little movement in one of the bushes. I admit, he is extremely cute. I mean, in the beginning he was quite shy, uh, but now he's just completely comfortable with me and my voice. 
Uh, before he was just running under the house as soon as I came out. But after a while I just sat there and talked with him a bit and he just kept coming back. And he's more and more curious uh, for every day, which is so cute. But I don't know if you know what foxers are also known for, besides <laughs> being a bit cute. They are also known for stealing stuff. And we have a bit of an issue in that area. Some time ago, quite recently, I ran a race here in yeah, the neighborhood where we live. And after the race, uh, my shoes was really wet and muddy because it was raining during the race. So after the race, I just came home, put my shoes here on the deck to dry um, because I only have one pair of shoes um, that are like everyday shoes. I have them as everyday shoes and also running shoes. I should have two pairs, I know that, but I have one pair. Um, I'm trying to be a minimalist in some areas at least. So I put them here on the deck uh, hope, uh, hoping for them to dry during the night and then the next day when I came out there was only one shoe left I don't want to name names but I have a slight guess <laughs> who, who has taken it now I have no running shoes and I have no everyday shoes um, I have my winter boots but it's not really winter yet, um, so it's quite a bit annoying. So I thought, and I'm hoping, that maybe he hasn't dragged the shoe too far away from here. I've checked all the, the lawn and everything, but I'm maybe hoping, or I am hoping, that he's hidden it under the house and we might find it there. So now we're gonna go on a, like a treasure hunt. And also later in this video, I'm gonna have a, like a naming competition so we can name this little guy because he or she needs a name, so we need to figure that out. But that's a bit later. And by the way, I put up a goal for myself and this channel to reach 200,000 subscribers before this year ends. So if you want to support that and help me out, leave a like on the video and also subscribe. Because I'm really stepping up my game this fall. I'm usually publishing every other week, every other Sunday. But now I'm stepping up to every Sunday. So four videos a month. So if you want to help me out and support, leave a like and subscribe. So this is where he usually comes up and down and I have this little flashlight so yeah let's see if we can find something I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see anything okay light on I think you may yeah, almost have to tell me if you see something okay nothing there oh this is tricky as hell No. Okay. All right, no, nothing here. Okay, next spot. This is the second spot. Let's see. Oh. Can you see anything? <laughs> this is tricky as hell. No. It doesn't look like I can see that much. It's a bit funny to see the house from the underneath. Actually, I've never seen that. Okay. I think I have to buy new shoes. In every single video I post, there is always a few comments about the wildlife here and what kind of animals we have and do you need to be afraid? So I thought I would talk a bit about that and also show you the animals we had on this exact lawn. Here in Sweden, we have what we call the big five when it comes to the predators. And we have bear, lynx, wolf, wolverine, and then an eagle called Kungsörn. So that's the big five predators. Then we also have moose and other stuff that is quite big but they're not predators so to speak when i moved to the cabin i've already seen animals like moose but i've never seen and i never thought i would be able to see bear and lynx but literally over there when i was having my sister here uh, visiting we were sitting inside eating dinner i think it was and i had my face like i was facing outward like sitting on the kitchen table eating and then looking outside and they were having their backs against this angle so to speak and then all of a sudden I just saw this like 
movement across the lawn. I was like, what is that? And then I realized there was a lynx and I panicked because I was like, Whoa, what do I do? Because I was so excited and I wanted to get a picture and I wanted to experience it at the same time. And I told my sister and her boyfriend, I was like, you're never gonna experience this again. This is like the coolest thing ever. Because most people that live out here, they can live here 70 years and never get to see a lynx because they're so shy of an animal. So for me or us to get to see one was just mind blowing. And we also got to see a bear right over here. I have to show you actually. So this happened only a few weeks ago actually. Up there, that's our bedroom. And I woke up at 3 a.m. by our dog Nala sitting in bed and growling like mm. And I think I don't think I've never heard her make that noise before so I understood something was up so I sat up in bed and looked down at this exact spot and saw a big bear and I was so in shock like I just woke up so that was part of it I guess but it was just so fascinating seeing this wild animal what is it two three meters from the cabin I don't know it's an experience I'm never going to forget and I really hope I get to see that again and a lot of you are asking and are curious about but aren't you afraid of the animals what if you stumble upon one of these guys in the forest what will happen then and no I'm not afraid actually um okay if I had to be honest if I just stumble upon a bear one meter from me I would probably shit my pants but <laughs> like out here or where we're living no I'm not um they're so shy all of these animals and the only danger would be if they have cubs and, and they want to protect those guys, which I understand. Like, yeah, I own this land on paper, it's mine, but this forest and this land is all of ours, animals and mine and everyone else's. When it comes to like being afraid of animals, no, I'm not afraid. I'm more afraid of sitting in a car in the middle of the city. Uh, I think it's more likely that an accident happened there than out here. I have a really fun idea on how we together can name this little guy because I think that he or she needs a name and I think we should do it as a, a naming competition. But before we do that, I just want to say quickly a big big thank you to my friends over at Audible for sponsoring this video because without them I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Audible, they offer an incredible selection of audiobooks and podcasts across every genre. And I can honestly say that I love having Audible as a sponsor because I use them every single day when I'm cutting firewood or walking in dogs or just doing everyday stuff. But one of the best things about having them as a sponsor is that I get to tell you one of my favorite books. And this time I want you to check out the book Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. This book has been so inspiring and helpful to me when I've explored my creativity. It helped me understand that I don't need to know exactly what I want before I start creating. And I can highly recommend listening to this one if you also want to kickstart your own creative journey. The way Audible works is that with a membership, you get one credit each month that you can use on any title in their entire library. And you also get to keep that title forever. You can actually start listening right now with the 30 days Audible trial. And with that trial, you can choose one audiobook and you get full access to their entire Plus catalog. To check it out, just head over to audible.com slash Kalle Flodin or text Kalle Flodin in one word to 500 500. And new members can always try Audible out for a month for free just to check it out. It's a really good deal, so I hope you check it out. And if you have any book recommendations for me, I would love if you can leave them in a comment. So do you have any good ideas for a name? It needs to be something that works for someone that is cute and fluffy, but also criminal and <laughs> steals stuff. It needs to work for both. And to make this a bit more interesting, I thought that the person that comes up with the best name for the fox will win a copy of my ebook called Finder True North. Um, so I think that if you guys make a comment and that comment that gets the most amount of likes on it, that's the name that wins. I know it's a bit dangerous to give power to the internet and it's going to be something absolutely crazy maybe, I don't know. Uh, I have some, sort of, some form of veto I think, but I'm trusting you guys to come up with something really good. 
So get started on coming up with a really good name. And if you click right there, that will take you to Audible and the deal. And over here, you can watch another one of my videos. Thank you guys for watching this one and looking forward to seeing all the names in the comment field. Bye for now.